This is Ellen Phillips, president of the Greater Philadelphia Chapter of the ALS Association. It's hard to believe that some 25 years have passed since the beginning of this wonderful relationship with the Philadelphia Phillies. Looking back to our early years, it's not hard to remember the pride when Bill and Nancy Giles named us as the Phillies' principal charity. And ever since then, our relationship has grown and grown. This is David Montgomery, president of the Philadelphia Phillies. It really does seem like the years have flown by since that summer of 1984 when our players and their wives staged the first fashion show to benefit the ALS Association. As the seasons went by, we expanded the event to an autograph party and auction, a format designed to increase public awareness and to generate more sponsorship dollars for the cause. But the best aspect of the new event was the inclusion of our entire staff. Instead of a select group of players, the whole Phillies family became involved. The annual event was now a source of enormous pride and a bonding experience within the organization. And I believe the glue that helped form that bond was the first-hand exposure to those patients with ALS and their families. Over the years, we've met a number of courageous people who have shared their stories about life with ALS. Dick Bergeron was one of the first patients to meet with the players and his words made a lasting impact. Today, Wes Rose often takes time to meet with the players and his message is very powerful. I'm 36 years old. Um, I have a um, beautiful wife and two boys, six and four. Um, I was diagnosed with ALS three years ago in May of 2005. You know, I got involved in the ALS Association, and it turns out, you know, my, my progression, I'm still here. You know, I, I, was, I was lucky enough to talk to you guys last year. I'm back again this year, and I'm still talking, which is not a lot. Not, not a lot of ALS patients can say that. A lot of times people will progress within a year or two years where they're, you know, in a, in a wheelchair and they can't speak anymore. So ALS is a very strange disease. Many of you guys have, have done this event before, and um, just understand that it's, it's still like they have, their mind is as sharp as yours is. They may not be able to communicate, you know, an ALS patient may have a tough time speaking or they may be completely immobilized in a chair, but they'll definitely be able to know, you know, what you guys are doing for, for us and, you know, how you guys, what this means to them. So, you know, for, for all of us who are dealing with ALS, we really appreciate you guys being involved in this. Without a doubt, it's been the Phillies players who have driven the success of our relationship with the ALS Association. Our players and our fans, our fans who have attended in record numbers throughout the years and the players who have been more than generous with their time, a precious commodity in the middle of a baseball season. This is Raul Ibanez. As a newcomer to the Phillies organization, I wasn't fully aware of the ravages of ALS or the services that the Philadelphia chapter provided. It was my privilege to meet Wes Rose this summer and receive a good indoctrination to what this is all about. You can imagine as you lose control of your muscles, it gets more, it gets tougher to move, it gets tougher to communicate with people. There's varying degrees of severity that people will have. Um, but the real thing is expense and time, that kind of thing. The ALS Association in Philadelphia provides a lot of services for people with ALS and helps people out that can't, you know, that, that basically don't have the ability to do things for themselves anymore. And this is what the event today is, is doing, is raising money to um, support the ALS Association. There aren't words to describe how important your guys' involvement is to us in this kind of thing. So, well, let's go raise some funds. Yeah, absolutely. That's, hey man, I really appreciate thank it. Thank you, and yeah. I appreciate it. There is no question that the highlight of the year for the Philadelphia chapter of the ALS Association is the Phillies Festival. It's a time for our patients and sponsors and friends in the Phillies family to all get together and celebrate the promise of a future without ALS. Over the years, our goals have never changed. To lead the fight to cure and treat ALS through global cutting-edge research and to empower those with Lou Gehrig's disease and their families to live fuller lives by providing them with passionate care and support. Simply put, our goal is to provide help for today and hope for tomorrow. Our wonderful relationship with the Phillies helps us in many ways toward achieving that goal. After meeting with the patients and their families, I found it very humbling to be in the presence of such courage and strength. 
After my experience at the festival, I can say that I'm truly proud to be part of the Phillies family. These are exciting times for Phillies baseball. Our recent success has brought more exposure to the team and to our city. And a nice benefit of that, it also brings more exposure to our fight against ALS. And in these 25 years, it has never really mattered much to us where the Phillies are in the standings. To us, they have always been champions. Congratulations to all on a very successful 25 years.